can be the curse of even an otherwise excellent driver. Parallel parking. Hmm. I really thought I had more room. Back in 2008, we set up our hidden cameras in Mount Clare, New Jersey, to see what happens when our careless parallel parker knocks the bumper off a parked car and then just walks away. Hold it, hold it. You can't just walk away. Okay. I'll be back in an hour. I'll, I'll deal with it then. You let it go. Unfortunately, I didn't do anything. Ah. Somebody backed into another car, and they're about to leave the scene of the accident. Now we're back in the same town with our same driver. It's been 10 years and I still don't know how to park. We've got a newer Jag and the fender bender. Well, that hasn't changed. All these years later, will people still confront the parker and come to the rescue of the owner of the damaged car? What would you do? Our hidden cameras are rolling as our actor Linda rolls into that Jag. Did I do that? This woman hears and then reacts to Linda's horrendous parking job. You just slapped your bumper right off. What? Your whole bumper just came what? What a piece of junk. Can you believe that? I don't have time for this. You're not going to leave a note for them on their car that you that you just hit their car and their bumper came I, off? I, I don't have time. I'm late for a meeting. Wow. OK, I rent upstairs and I own the store over here. I'll Please don't say know. anything. Excuse me? Please don't say anything. That is illegal. I just watched you crash into somebody's car. Please mind your own business. I'm going to call the That is a horrible thing. That is a horrible thing. <laughs> I don't have time for this. That was hard. As she flees the scene, we step in. Hi there. Hi. How are you? Hi. It's what would you do? Hi. <laughs> John Quinones, how about this? Why is it important to say something? Because that's horrible. You don't know what their, you know, situation is. That could be their only means of transportation. And I hope my kids see this because then they will know that this is the right thing to always do. We roll again, and at first, we don't know if anyone sees our fender bender. But then, out of nowhere, this man from across the street. Am I what? No. OK, I, I'm just going to say, I think you should really stay parked, because you completely ruined the bumper. So I think I, you're better off staying here and just How did I ruin their bumper? Just, you just back, I, we just backed up and I watched you did it. I didn't do that. A restaurant that's gonna say that you hit it, so you're better off just staying apart. You can't. If you're gonna hit and run, I'll just call the cops on your car. So, listen, I'm just trying to make it easier. You're probably better off contacting the police and doing it. I'm in a hurry. I don't have time for this. But now you just took somebody's luxury vehicle and ripped the bumper off the front of their car. And now some roadside assistance. If you, if you want to leave anything, just leave a note for this guy because we got like 10 people there that have been looking at you for the past 10 minutes. So I'm going to take license plate, and if you say it wasn't you, that's up to you. But honestly, you shouldn't leave because that's leaving the damage behind. So my sincere suggestion, maybe you call police or whatever it is. And Before he calls the cops, let's tell him it's what would you do? What's going on, guys? Jesus Christ. <laughs> you weren't going to let her get away. No, it's, it's not right. Uh, as human beings, we always try to have to do the best that we can uh, to look out for each other and take conscious actions of everything that we do. Oh, whoops. Throughout the day, people are just as shocked as they were back in 2008. Oh. Time and time again, people try to get Linda to hit the brakes. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, you're done. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. What? Oh. Did, I, did I get it? Yeah. Just like the original, it's time for that what would you do twist. We've seen how people respond when the driver is a woman, but will the reaction be any different with AZ behind the wheel? This squad of cheerleaders are about to become eyewitnesses. Okay. Let me see. That was me. 
shoot. AZ asks for some support. Will you guys help me put it back? But one cheerleader thinks he should play solo. <sighs> Whatever. Can't deal with it right now. I gotta get to a meeting. And with that, AZ is gone. Do you guys think we should like hello please? I don't know. I don't know you. <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, what? You can't just, like, leave. I didn't want to touch it. I yeah, I don't know. We decide to send the owner of the Jaguar back in. <laughs> yes, that's our actor Linda from earlier playing double duty. Oh, my God. We wondered, will our cheerleaders bring it on? Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. Did you see that? He's in the suit right Who? there. He just walked down the street and walked away. Who did it's, this? He's in an all gray suit. Like Ray Bans. I would take his life. Hi, girl. How are you? There's no way. We're on the show. There's no way. It's what would you do? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> we roll one last time. Man, it's a piece of junk anyway. If they come back, we just don't say anything, guys. Okay? Uh -huh. I got to I mean I got to go. Yeah, I got to go. I got somewhere to be. Do you want us to take a copy of your license? Uh, no, it's not that serious. I think it kind of is. It's not a big deal. It's I mean I, they this, said it was this already... car owner is going to think it's a big deal. How about I, I a name? Go. How I, about I, a name I, I and a number? Shoot. Name and number? Something? And with that, Heather Jimenez cannot let it go. Yeah. No, yeah. Go. She goes after him. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right, the guy just hit you. I'm going to go. What? I'm going to go grab him. Do you know where 33 is? I, can't. I don't, but I know where the car owner. Uh, oh, the she, car that you just hit? Yeah. He came back, yeah. He came back, so you might want to talk to her. Uh, maybe after my meeting. I'm trying to find 33. Are you really that rude? Is this your car? Yeah, that's me. You took the whole front fender off. Yeah, he doesn't seem to care. Guys, why did you say that to her? Wow. I can't believe people like you exist. I'm busy. Yeah. Hi, guys. I'm John Quinones. <laughs> why did you get involved? Because he just hit the car, and the entire bumper fall, fell off. But he didn't obviously care. And to people like that, you say... I don't think I can say that on TV. <laughs> Some people see it and don't want to get involved. What would you tell them? There are nice people in this world, and I'm trying to be one of them.